They're like, okay, there's no force. I'm just killing people. I mean, again, it's all like these weird little mind games they've learned to train people when you're not conscious. We're going to go around and confiscate guns. That, that's, that's no force. Like, oh, yeah, that's no force. Well, well, hell, it's all right for us to do this, then. There's no force. Back to the clip. Okay, guns, guns will be taken. Yeah, no one will be able to be armed. We yes, will sir. take all yes, weapons. No. That happened today in this wealthy neighborhood where homeowners had armed themselves to protect their mansions. <laughs> hey, boss. Hey, the cops aren't here in the military to help you protect your mansion. And my point is, if they can do this to rich people, they can do it to anybody. Oh, we're not going to help folks down there in the bad wards. Our cops are down there robbing banks right now on record and, and, and in pawn shops. No, uh, uh, we're here to rob you. That's what they were doing. And then the, the military would arrest you and then the cops would come in and steal you blind. This is on record. <laughs> I mean, the U.S. Army, regular Army and National Guard comes in and then the police and the feds loot your butt. Oh, it only happens in the third world. No, folks, it happens everywhere. Only America was different. We were never perfect. And now that hedge of protection has gone. So you might as well just bend over, I guess, because there's nothing America won't take. Let's go back to it. Here they come. Here we come to get some goods. In the end, police took their weapons but let them stay in their homes. Oh, nice. They were a little bit threatened because our weapons were bigger than their weapons. For many of the police and guard troops, it is an uncomfortable job to do the this in the yeah. American city. This guard unit a sack of crap. A church, I mean, using it as a base camp. They had to leave a note because they could not get hold of the pastor to get permission. Oh. It, is, it is surreal. Yeah, you just never, you never expect to do this in your own country. Chris Montgomery says he'd rather be in Iraq than patrolling American neighborhoods. Walking up and down these streets, you don't, you don't want to think about the stuff that you're gonna have to do. If somebody pops around the corner, and be shoot in America. Yeah. By the way, the reporter that put together that propaganda piece got his face blown off in Iraq uh, about a month later. So um, you reap what you sow, pal. You know what the reward of traitors is, don't you? <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. It wasn't just brown Iraqis getting blown up, was it? <laughs> One of you little precious snake men. And then you shoot an American. Oh, God, it's so good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, those that live by the sword, well, you know how they died. And I feel sorry for these people, but I studied that reporter quite snake-like. And there's a bunch of other reports. I mean, we didn't even have the one where the old woman, they come and they say, we're going to take you with us. She says, oh, I have plenty of food. I got a generator, got dogs. Over here, I got my little gun. I'm fine. And they just go like, boom. It's like, you're not going anywhere, baby. You're going to a rape camp. We got, we got sewage running and gang members everywhere. We're going to throw you in there. And your dogs are going to starve to death here. We're going to loot your house. <laughs> Cause there's no, and I talked to emergency personnel that were there. That's how I knew about them killing citizens with their families trying to walk out on the bridges. Because it was all a big beta test, a big laboratory like Waco. And I talked to people, and I talked to folks who said that if women and children needed help, the troops and the police would say, let me see your breast. And they said, you want to ride out of here? Get on behind the shed. Can you imagine women needing help? And you're out there and you're like, well, let me have sex with you. I mean, what the hell? Maybe this country deserves to be destroyed. Maybe, I mean, you know, I mean, it, it is just it's like pulling over to some woman who's got a... Or a her car on fire, and you're like, I'll help you out here. Bend over first. I mean, I mean, wh wh who are these people? Where does this come into things? I mean, what happened? Uh, I talked to the people, and it came out they did this. They would demand sex from women to help. I mean, number one, who wants some woman who's been in the mud for three days and who wants to force it? I mean, they're demons, ladies and gentlemen. They're demons. And then they got Dudley do rights going, it's surreal. We shoot Americans. Ooh. Now, I talked to emergency responders like Charles and others that were calling me before it ever happened. He just goes by Charles. I know his last name. And he said, I can't believe it. I can't believe this big. He said like half of them were having sex with women and robbing people. And the other half were going, it's surreal. I follow orders. What I do? I mean, and the good guys, the good guys just sit there and go, you ought not be raping her. You're not a good guy. You're going along with it. People are like, you're so exceptional standing up against this. What? It's called self-preservation. You read a history book? The stuff coming down here is cancer. I keep saying it, folks. There's no, there's no getting out of it going along with it. You understand? 
It's the worst of the worst are in control. The sky's the limit. They like screwed up stuff. They don't want a normal world like we do. They're not like us. You figured that out yet? Like the guy they catch with dead bodies in his basement? They're not like us. Well, why'd he do that? Because they're not like us. Why'd Hitler do that? Because he isn't like us. Stop being idiots. Stop being dumbasses. Stop being naive, okay? All right, I, I got to hurry here. <sighs> Look at this, the Daily Beast, which is a, even a Newsweek propaganda outfit. Local cops ready for war with Homeland Security funded military weapons. A decade of billions in spending in the name of Homeland Security has armed local police departments. Well, yeah, they've been federalized with military-style equipment and a new commando mentality, but has it gone too far? They always like, oh, has it gone too far? Oh, yeah, you're going to find out when they take everything you got out of your bank account. They're going to take what the cops got. They don't care. Kissinger calls military men dumb animals. All I can tell the cops is don't drink the water and don't take those vaccines. <laughs> you know what's good for you.